Hi everybody, I'm Sherry Long. Welcome to my studio. Uh, today we're going to do a mat workout. Probably intermediate slash advanced. A little bit of everything. I hope you enjoy it. So let's start laying down on the mat in supine position. So I'm going to start with my knees bent, arms down by my side. Just kind of taking a moment, feeling where your body is today. Maybe feeling where it's a little tight, where you need to place a little bit more focus on. And just taking that moment, allow your shoulders to drop down into the mat. Use gravity. I want you to feel the weight underneath your feet, nice and evenly weighted. Try to start with a neutral pelvis. Trying to establish those natural curves in my spine just to give me some guidance where I'm going from. And we're going to start with some nice, wonderful pelvic curls. Deep inhale. And as we exhale, we're going to draw those abdominals in. We're going to lift that pelvis up to the ceiling. And I just like to hold this first one because I want to kind of feel where my body is. Maybe I can tuck a little bit more. Maybe I can reach my arms down a little bit more. Inhale there. And as we exhale, let's roll right back down. Again, so we inhale and exhale. I try to just use my abdominals. And then I know I'm gonna kick in with those hamstrings still using these abdominals. Use a little bit of glutes at the top, just not too much. Inhale and exhale. Again, I inhale, I exhale. And I try to feel something different with every pelvic curl. Inhale at the top, exhale slowly. Feel that lower back getting a little bit more of a stretch. Back to that neutral position. I'm going to lengthen from the hips. I inhale. I exhale. Inhaling there. Pressing those arms down. Exhaling. Let's do two more here. We breathe in. And breathe out. Let that exhale help facilitate that movement to the ceiling. And again, give me a little bit more of a tuck. Making sure those ribs are not splaying up to the ceiling, but still getting length in that upper back. Breathe in there. And exhale. Let's do one more. Breathe in. And. I lift that pelvis. I press down with the back of the shoulders. Now I want you to hold this position. Really tuck. Get that length in your lumbar. Activate those abdominals in the front. Lengthen the back. Let's float those arms all the way up to the ceiling. Turn the palms towards each other. And then slowly roll back down. Curl as I roll. I want you to reach those arms all the way behind you. And if you have shoulder rest there, just scoot them to the outside. And we're going to do a few single leg lifts. So I want you, without shifting in your trunk, float that right foot up. Feel what happened. Did anything shift? We want to keep that anchor on that opposite side. We inhale. We exhale. We inhale. We exhale, moving from the hip joint, not the knee. Inhale and exhale. Last two. Last one. Lower the right. Lift the left and feel, did you shift? Staying nice and neutral, nice and anchored. Inhale, moving from the front of the hips. Exhale, bring it up. Inhale. Exhale to lift. Again, I love the simple exercise just to kind of get my body in touch. And two more. Inhale. Exhale it up. One more. 
hold that position. I want you to bring both legs up, activate those inner thighs, and give me a hundreds prep right here. You're gonna lift, you're just gonna hold this position. Reach the fingertips, draw your abdominals in, and we're gonna stay here for the leg changes. Take your right foot down, and we switch for 10, and nine, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, Anchor where you need to anchor. Lift where you need to lift. Three, two, one. Bring both legs up again. Lift a little higher. Float the arms up, palms, and open. Spine twist. Let's take those knees over to your right. And they're together. It's as if they're one leg. Exhale. Come right back to center. Other way. Over. And center. Again. We're warming up the body, preparing it for what we're going to ask it to do for the next 45, maybe 47 minutes. We'll see where it takes us. And one more, each direction. Over. And keeping that nice connection in the trunk. And center center. Slide the arms back. Keep the knees right where they are. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale, legs up. Inhale, body down. Again. And down. And and Last two like that. And down. One more. Lower. Now hold. Don't lower, but lift. And we're going to go over to the right side. So you're going to reach those arms. I want you to think of reaching with the right, rotating with the left. And then you're going to lift as you go to the opposite side. And you're going to lift as if you're making a rainbow. And again. And again. Up and around. And we're trying to keep the knees still. Because we're trying to keep the pelvis still. Again. Lift. So it's our chest lift with rotation. Feel that rotation. We follow the arms. Again, lifting, and we have one more each direction. So we've gone here, we finish going to the left, we hold, let's come back to center, let's lift those arms, lift up to the sky, just a little bit more, palms, reach them back, reach those toes, reach those legs, and come all the way down. We go into our roll up. The first one always feels great. We inhale. We exhale. We go just slightly forward of that hip joint, but still feel that lift. Inhale at the top and exhale. Again, I inhale, making sure the legs are straight down. Exhale. Lifting, lifting, lifting. Can we draw the abdominals back and up just a little bit more? Keeping my scapula on my back. Exhale to lower. Again. I inhale. I exhale. I inhale. I exhale. And two more. We breathe in, we lift, we pause, we exhale down. We have one more and then we're going to add rotation to this roll up. We inhale, I anchor, exhale, I float up and over it. I breathe at the top and then I roll. We do the same thing, but we rotate as we lift. We go to the right. We lift up, 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 up.
we pass through center, other way, and down. We go back to center and repeat it on the opposite, over, and lift. Pass through that roll up, rotate, and come down, and center. And last one, we'll do each direction. So we lift. So as I'm going to my right, I'm pressing that left side down. Anchor, anchor, anchoring. And center, over, roll. And last time, we lift. We come up. We go through center, all the way all the way, back down, center. Now hold it here, float your legs in one at a time, feel those adductors, and now bring it all the way back. Good time for hundreds. We inhale, we exhale, we inhale, pause, we exhale, in, two, three, four, five, Three, two, three, four, five. Four, two, three, four, five. Five, two, three, four, five. Six, can the abdominals be in a little deeper? Seven, two, three, four, five. Straighter legs. Eight, two, three, four, five. Nine, two, three, four, five, and ten, two, three, four, five, hold. I want you just to lift a little higher. Just feel that you've gone to your highest point. You've reached those legs as far as you can reach them. Lower your left leg down. Take your right leg up, arms come down, flex. We go into our leg circles. We inhale and exhale, and inhale, and exhale, two more, reverse it, drop and recover, and two, and inhale, three, and exhale, four, give me two more, now hold that position, point, you're going to lift the body, float the left foot to where you had it for your hundreds. Take it down. Find that position. No, we're not going to do hundreds again, but we're going to go to the position. And you're going to lower, lift, and down. Flex it, and circle. One, and two, and three. Exhale, four. Inhale, exhale. Reverse, one, and let it go, and three. Nowhere to anchor, nowhere to let go. Two more, five, last one. This time hold that leg, point that foot. Now you're going to lower it down all the way. Reach the arms over. We do one roll up for our transition. Inhale, exhale. Scoot forward if you need to. We're going to draw those feet in. Rolling like a ball. So what I want you to think of is bring your heels towards your sits bones. And then bring your sits bones towards your heels. So finding that position, let the elbows drop a little bit. And find your shape. Create it and keep it. Let's inhale. Allow the body. Exhale. Again. Nice and easy. Inhale, exhale, and inhale, exhale. Let's do two more. I just roll back, and then I roll forward. One more, I roll, and I hold the position. Let's take the hands behind the thighs, and just lift the chest. 
So I'm going to incorporate a little bit more upper back extension throughout this class because I need it, we all need it. So you're going to lift that chest, just find it, lift your sternum, and then lower your feet. Reach your arms straight ahead, find that back. Find it, find it, find it, and keep it. And then we're going to slowly roll down. But my fingertips are reaching forward, my abdominals are reaching back, my scapula stays on my back. I'm not going to lose the connection. I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it forever, ever, 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 all the way down. I pull my pants up in case they slid down. Draw those knees in. Hands go right on top of the knees. We go into some abdominal work. Lift that body. So find it. Conquer it. Keep it. Double leg stretch. So let's reach it out just for a moment. Find it. Hold it. Are we there? Are we solid? Once we're there, we're solid. We come in. Again. We inhale. We exhale. Four. Five. Six. Hold. Lift your body a little higher. Now reach just the arms. Keep the knees in tabletop. Reach those arms, stretch, reach them, reach them, don't let go, hold. And then reach the legs, hold it there, hold it there. Keep your legs right there. We come all the way up, 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 up. We lengthen that spine again. I mentioned hip back extension, working, reaching, reaching, reaching. Lower down, we're not done with the abdominal series. We find it, control it, move it. Holding it at the tip of the scapula. Draw both those knees in. Both hands go on top of that right knee. Single leg stretch. One and two. Exhale. Three and four and five and six and seven. Reaching eight and nine and hold. Take this left leg out. Reach those arms. We're doing it again. We're coming up, we're rolling, we're rolling, we're lifting, we're reaching, we're using the back extensors, and then we're gonna slowly roll it down, find it, don't let it go, don't let it go, reach opposite of where I'm going, I'm reaching forward with my arms, hold that position down to the tip of the scapula, bring the knees in, take the hands behind the head, crisscross, right knee stays in, one, and two, exhale, three, and four, and five, and six, you're staying lifted, seven, eight, I'm trying to keep count, nine, ten, let's do two more, one each way, one, two, you know what's coming, knees in, arms go out, reach the legs, and teaser, we come up, lifting, 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 lifting. Oh, that was tough. Up, upper body. Reach with that back. Hold it there. Back down. Reaching the arms. Holding it, lifting it, reaching it, reaching it, reaching it. This time I want you to take those legs up. Grab onto the left calf. Right leg comes down. Hamstring pull one. One, two, exhale. I'm lifted, I'm anchored, one, two, one, two, and four, I forgot to count, three, and two, and go straight into your hamstring pull, two, one, and two, stay lifted, three, and four, exhale, five, exhale, six, exhale, seven, eight, nine, Hamstring pull three, rotate. One, and two, and three. Breathing, four, and five. Feel that rotation, but feel that flexion. Seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Both legs up, hold that position. Let's flex externally, rotate. Lower, point it, lift it up. One, lower. Point it, lift it up, two, lower, 
Point it, lift it up. Three. Lower. And up. And two more. Exhale up. One more. Exhale up. Bend those knees. Reach those legs. Oh, I don't know. We're doing it. And we're going to come up. 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 We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Lift. 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 And then lower. Hold that position. Find it. Control it. You're going to control the pace. The speed of which you roll back down. And give it a hug. Lower those feet down. Let's do some shoulder bridge. Ah, awesome. Inhale. As we exhale, let's curl. So let's just take a moment. We deserve it. Stretch the front of those hips. Lengthen the hip flexors. Reach that tailbone to the ceiling. And then we're going to take that right leg straight up. As we exhale. And I'm trying to keep my hips lifted. And four. And five. And six. Let's do two more. Eight sounds good. Seven. And eight. Hold. Lift point. Lower. But don't lower the pelvis. As a matter of fact, lift the pelvis. And then left side. Bring it in. Exhale. Tight hip flexors makes it more of a challenge. So you're going to go to where you can go. And four. I forgot to count. Five. Let's do three more. Six. If it's an extra, I apologize. Seven. One more. Eight. Point. Now hold it up there. Don't lower the leg, but roll it down. And take that other leg up. Good time for our rollover. So we reach those legs. We inhale to 90. Pelvis. I flex. Open. Lower. And I control. 90 degrees plantar. Reach it down. Abdominals are in. Inhale. Flex, open, lower, and try to get those thighs close to you, close to you. I'm trying, and point, and down, and again. I flex, open, lower, and I feel that length in my spine. I feel my abdominals working to slow down how quickly I roll. And last two. I flex, open, lower. I roll. I keep the posterior delts working, keeping those shoulders down. Last one. I look straight up to the ceiling so I don't pull the chin forward. And I lower. I lower. I lower. So I think today's theme is teasers. So we're doing it. Reach. We come up. We lift. We lift. We lift. We bend. And sitting on it. Going into our spine stretch forward. So getting right up on those sits bones. If you need to bend the knees, go right ahead. It's just a flexibility issue. And we have what flexibility we have. So my feet are flexed, my arms are reaching. What's important is my back is strong. I inhale, I exhale, and I'm gonna reach forward, forward, forward. I'm gonna go a little bit more forward. I inhale, I exhale. And I stack up, I get a little taller. Inhale. I exhale. 
So I think of each session kind of like a, a journey, a ride. And we go uphill, we go downhill, we go fast, we go slow. And now we've just kind of slowed it down. We're just taking a moment. We're feeling that length. We're feeling that our body's warmed up. We inhale, we exhale, we come back up. And last time for me, breathe in. And I inhale, I exhale, I come up. I take the hands up and then interlace them behind my head. So I'm going to push the back of my head into my palms. I'm going to sit nice and tall, but I'm going to watch that I'm not sitting forward. I tend to do that, so I'm going to try to check that. And I'm going to rotate, and I'm going to start with just pure rotation. Not rotating just the cervical, not moving the pelvis, but think of the trunk. What am I bringing around? And then I'm going to come back to center. And I'm going to go the opposite way but my left side is pulling in as I'm rotating with my right, and then I come back to center. I rotate, I'm reaching, I'm getting longer, I'm getting taller, I'm not sinking, and one more, rotate, tall, 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 and center. Let's add our saw, we're gonna reach those arms, we're gonna rotate, we're gonna reach, we're going to come up, arm trunk. We're doing the bassy saw. Rotate and reach. Come up and center. I rotate. I think trunk. And now I think length. I come up and center. Again, I'm going to get a little taller and reach it. Come up and center. Let's do one more. I love it. One and forward, come up and center. Last time, one, and forward, come up and center. Draw those legs together, stretch forward, breathe, roll it up. Let's pull those knees in. Make sure you got room behind you. We're gonna grab onto the ankles. If the hamstrings are tight, we can keep the knees bent. We're going to go into open leg rocker. So we're going to find it. We're going to think of the end result first, right? So we're going to think of when we come back up, what do we want? We want the back extensors working. We want the legs parallel. I don't want my arms holding my legs. I'm having my hip flexors holding my legs. I lift the chest. I inhale. I roll. I exhale. I come up. I inhale, roll, exhale, up, again, inhale, and up, and one more, and up, hold, bring the legs together, yep, teaser, hold that position, find it, hold it there, now we're going to roll down slowly, slowly, because we're going to go into our rollover position, into our scissors and bicycle. So the arms come down. We inhale. So I'm going to bend my knees. I'm going to take my palms into my hips, my lower back, my pelvis. I'm going to sit in my palms. So if you're more comfortable with the palm fingertips facing out, that's fine. We're going to lift those legs. I'm trying to maintain that anterior tilted position. Right leg comes to my nose. Left leg goes away. I'm reaching. I'm trying to get those legs longer, not wider than I can go, because I don't want to sacrifice quality. But I'm going to go to my range. That is correct. Give me three, and two, and one. Let's hold this position. Bicycle, we're gonna bend the knee. If you can bring the foot down, bring it down. Otherwise, take it to your bicycle. And two, and three, and 
four, it's a challenge for me. And five, and six, two more, seven, last one. Oh, my hamstrings are talking to me. And we reverse, one, I think scissor, and bicycle to scissor, three, and four, I'm gonna reach, and five, six, we have two more, seven, last one, eight, take the legs over, reach those arms, and then roll down. Bend the knees to your tabletop, give them a little hug, and then straighten them out. We're gonna go right into our side kicks. So we're gonna come on up, and we're gonna go to that elbow. If you're more comfortable on the forearm, go right ahead. So we're gonna find it, one of my favorite positions, because if this is not solid here, then we're gonna be in trouble later on that twist and the side bend. So we've gotta find it here. I'm looking straight ahead. I lift that leg, flex it. Two kicks, and back, and forward, and back, and three, and back. I'm gonna just adjust a little bit. Four, that's better. Back, and five, and back. I'm lifting, six, I'm stabilizing. Back, two more, and back, last one. And now back, hold. Now bring it back to center. Come all the way down onto the forearm. Reach that other arm up, and I just wanna work to single leg or side leg lifts. And down. I just wanna do three, because I wanna make sure my balance is on. I wanna make sure my obliques are awake. And this is three. And then we're gonna do little beats. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, I'm not letting my back go into an anterior tilted position of the pelvis. And I don't know how many that is, so four. And three, and two, and one, hold. And then come all the way up. We go right into our twist. Let's do three side bends, three twists. We inhale, we go up. We exhale, over. I'm checking my elbow, trying not to hyperextend. I go back and I go down. Again, I go inhale, exhale, inhale, and down, and lift, and over, I'm lifting the hips, and up, we have our twist. We go up and then we rotate. We come back and down. Again, up and rotate and back and down. If your hair gets in your way, just flip it and up and lift and up. Now hold it there. Hold. I want you to take this bottom arm. You're going to switch it. You're going to cross it underneath. That way we can get into our plank. We're here. We're here, good place to be, because I want to get some push-ups in before we go the other side. We have down, and up, and two, and up, and three. How many do we want to do? I say five, four, and up. One more, and up, hold, come down, spin to the other side. And we do the whole thing. So we have another opportunity to do push-ups. So we're here and there. I'm gonna check, make sure that my trunk is stable. Shoulder girdle. I'm gonna take a look at the legs. I don't want them going behind me. I lift that top leg, flex it. Two kicks forward. One, two, and I find my focal point. Forward and back and three and back and four, and back. I keep lifting, five, and back, and six, and back. I let the hips mobilize the femur, seven, 
Think of that leg moving in that hip socket and eight. And hold. Draw the ribs in. Lift the body and bring it back. Three side lifts. And there, and there. I lift and down. Again, up and down. Again, three. Now hold. Little beats. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six. Finding it. Seven, and eight, and nine. I think we did a few extra. So four, three, two, and one. Coming on up. Three side bends, three twists. I inhale, I lift, I exhale up and over. I'm trying to lift those hips and then I come back to that side plank, but I'm going to make sure my obliques are working on this side. And then I come down, I come up, I go over. Checking my elbow because I'm a hyperextender from way back. And lift and down. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Reach. Can I lift my pelvis any higher? Let's try. And go back. And three twists. I lift. I rotate. I want to feel my back extending. And I come back. Solid. And down. And two. And I reach, I come lifting, I return, and last one, I lift, and over, and back. Now here I'm going to switch that foot, back foot goes in front, I'm going to come onto my plank position. All right, so we've got our push-ups. And then we've got our leg pull front. We inhale, exhale, one, and two, and three. I'm trying to keep my scapula stable, I promise. And four, and last one, five, hold. Right foot, I exhale, one, and two. I'm reaching the top of my head forward three, and four, and five. I lower, I'm just checking my feet. I reach one, and two, and three, and four, and five. I lower. I'm gonna come down to my forearms. Interlace, and I'm gonna hold. I'm just gonna find that length, find that balance. And we're going to just stay there for about 10 seconds. And I have a clock in front of me, so I'm going to keep track. And that's all. That's five. We're almost there. Four, three, two. Now, don't just drop your body, but gently knees, feet, and lift the chest. And we go into our single leg kick. So I want you to push down in the forearms, lift up in the sternum, and then float the legs. Everything's active, but nothing's overactive. And we kick that right leg. One, two, and left. And and left. We can inhale and exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And I think of lifting. How tall can I get in this position? How long can I get? in this position. And we have four and three. Lifting even taller, two and one, one. Now hold this position. Lift your body and then lengthen. Bring it all the way down. Hands go right underneath your forehead. You're gonna lift your legs a little higher. And then you're gonna lower them just to that hover. And then you're gonna lift them a little higher. If it feels better to slightly separate them, then go right ahead. And we lift. But as I'm lifting my legs, I'm lengthening my back. I'm trying not to shorten my back. Imagine that you have a little popsicle stick right in your lumbar region. 
So you can't shorten it. Put that popsicle stick from L1 to L5 and down. And give me four hip extensors and down. And three. I'm reaching out and then up and down. And two. And down. And last one, hold. And now I want you to keep your legs right where they are. Take your arms forward. And now we're gonna lift the right arm, left leg, and we go into our swimming. And inhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Just breathe and swim. And da 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 da, -da and exhale. And inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. And inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. And inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. One more set. And inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Hold, hold, reach those arms. Reach them, reach them, reach them, reach them, reach. Interlace all the way. Lower everything down, come down to the left side of your face. We go right into our double leg kicks. Lift those legs, we're almost there, gang. Three kicks, and up, other side, and up, other side, up, again. It's not about height, it's about length, again. Up, one more, and hold. Hold this position. Reach your elbow or your arms out and then bend your elbows and come down. Inhale, top of the head. Lifts, legs, stay on the mat. Lifting just to the forearms. And then if you feel comfortable with that, continue. But not at the expense of the scapula. And then I want you to reach forward to come down. Now I took my legs to about hip distance. I just checked it. I don't want to open them too much, but I'm going to allow them a little bit. And then I inhale. I go to that first checkpoint. I go, yeah, my back feels good. I can lift. I can lift. I can lift. I can lengthen. I can reach. Sequentially, I think that's a word. Coming all the way down. And one more time. I lift. Up, 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 up. Lifting, lifting, lifting. Oh, it feels good. And I come back down. And now I'm going to round my spine. Pull all the way back. Feel the flexion in your back. Allow the flexion in your spine. I want you to roll up, and you're just going to sit over onto your right side. Take those legs out. We have back support. So let's lift that back. Now the fingertips are going to face you or out to the side. Ah, lifting. So before I lift my pelvis, I think of lifting my body. And then I'm all ready to go. I exhale up and down. Again, up. Feel the body opening. No matter what else we do, we want to open the chest. And one more. No, two more. Let's do two. Reach. Doesn't matter if the toes touch in the front. If you can get there, go there. But if you can't, that's okay. And one more. I lift. And down. I want you to pull those knees in. All right. So we've done a few teasers already. So let's do teaser. Oh, let's just do them. Teaser one, teaser two, teaser three. Three of each. Yeah, why not? Okay, we can do it. And then we have seal puppy. So those legs are lifted. I'm there. I've already conquered it. I know I can do it. Legs are going to stay still. Arms are going to reach. I'm going to hold the legs. I'm going to exhale, I'm going to roll down, and I'm going to come up, up, lift, 
and begin. I'm gonna roll. And my body's saying, we already did the Sherry. I'm saying, it's okay, we can do more. Two, and I promise I'll keep count. And three, up. And now we're gonna take the arms forward. We're gonna open, inhale, close, inhale, close. One more. We have teaser three. Here we go. Everything lowers, comes down. The legs just hover. They don't let go. Everything's turned on. We lift again. We roll. That little bit of strength that you saved, pull it out, use it. And up. And last one. I come down. I know I have a little bit more. I'm just opening my arms a little bit wider so they don't hit my riser. And up. Now let's hold it. Can we reach? Can we lift those legs? Can we lift those arms? Can we lift that back? And bend. And seal puppy. All right. Five seal puppies. So we lift the legs. Okay. Try not to fall off the mat. We lift the feet. Now I want you to think of pulling together with the thighs. So pull the thighs, because the movement wants to come, or I want it to come from my hips, not my feet. So I'm gonna inhale, roll, clap, 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 and up, clap, 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 back, da, 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 and up, da, da, da. And I always think, you gotta smile during this. And two more, da, da, da. And up, ra -pa -pa. one more, hold, and just feel it, feel what you've accomplished, and breathe, and then lower, stretch your body forward, sit back a little bit if you want, and just reach those fingertips, nice deep inhale, and then exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. And we roll up. We take those legs back to that parallel position. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.